Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of Yuve University. I am currently on the Singularity test server. The current build number is 542716, and today is Sunday, May the 26th, 2013. I'm looking at the new exploration features upcoming for the Odyssey expansion next week. Uh, by the way, just to follow up on my previous video on this subject, the scanning upgrade modules, the Tech 2 ones, the Scan Pinpointing Array 2, Scan scan Acquisition Array 2, and Scan Range Finding Array 2 require level 5 in their respective skills. So if you want to use a Scan Pinpointing Array Tech 2, you need Astrometric Pinpointing level 5. So anyway, I've been wandering around high security space on the Singularity server looking for data sites, and I managed to find one, and I warped to it. There are no rats here. There are a number of containers, well, four of them in this particular site. These are scatter containers. So here is how I have found it to work. So you target lock a container. Hold on. Target lock correct container. Run the correct sort of analyzer on it. Code breakers are now data analyzers. And analyzers are now relic analyzers. So down here in the left hand corner, uh, you have some sort of status bars and you can mouse over them. Virus coherence, the coherence of your virus determines how much damage you can take before failing your hacking attempt. And the other bar is virus strength, determines how much damage it will cause to the coherence of defense subsystems and system cores. I'll explain that uh, as we go along. So here is where you broke into the system, all right? And any encrypted nodes that are next to you, you can attempt to explore. You just left click on it to, uh, to start searching around. And you just keep left clicking nodes to guess where things are. And this one happens to be a defense subsystem. Uh, defense Subsystem Firewall. The firewall is a standard piece of system defense known for its high coherence. You can attack the firewall by left-clicking it. Uh, and its upper number is its coherence, and its lower number is its strength. All right, so every time you left-click this thing, you're going to take 20 points off of it, but you'll also lose 20 points off of your own coherence bar. Right. Let me see if I can go around. Data Cache. Data caches are archives which can contain defense or utility subsystems. Reveal the contents of the data cache by left-clicking it. Uh, utility subsystem kernel rot. Kernel rot has the coherence of a de su defense subsystem or system core. Left-click to use and left-click on the intended target. I'm going to leave that alone for the time being and continue looking around. Utility subsystem, self-repair. Self-repair increases the virus, co virus coherence when used by... I don't know what that numeric repair amount is supposed to be. Left-click to use. So if I left-click on it, that just puts it into an inventory. I have three inventory slots along the bottom here, apparently. Uh, utility slot. This utility slot is currently empty. Pick utilities from data caches in the, sub in the system. I'm going to continue exploring. There aren't all that many... Aha! Here we go, the system core. Destroying the system core successfully completes your hacking attempt. You can hack the system core by left-clicking it. So if I click this utility subsystem that I found earlier, the kernel rot... Oh, you know what? That just puts... Okay, I should have just picked it up right away then. Um, so I can left-click this thing, left-click the target, and boom, it loses half of its coherence. It went down from 30 to 15. And if I just left-click this... Let me show you the repair thing. If I left-click the repair thing, that adds to my coherence. Now if I start clicking the system, boom. It only had 15 coherence, and I knock out 20 coherence at a shot. Uh oh.
if click all these things just spewed out of the scatter container. I have to left click on it. I can't add these things to the overview. are flickering out. I can't see the others anymore. I think they may have despawned. So yeah, right-clicking on those things that all suddenly scattered out all over the place, uh, you cannot add them to overview. So you can't target them from the overview. You have to click on them in three-dimensional space. That would it, that's what it looks like anyway. And what I picked up were, from this one, were hydrogen batteries, which, um, strangely enough, there are no buy orders for this stuff. Trade goods, industrial goods. So you can't, I can't even sell this to NPCs in the region. So I've got carbon, electronic parts, data sheets, hydrogen batteries, fairly worthless stuff. Um, there's not much I can do with any of this, but this is high security space, so maybe there isn't much here to get. Or it could be that this is just a singularity test server. Uh, let me do this again. Let me start running this. And I found a defense subsystem. Let me continue looking around. There's another firewall. There's another firewall. Another firewall. Alright, so I'm gonna have to start attacking firewalls to get any further. So I click a firewall. That knocks 20 off of its coherence, but I also lose 20 of my own. Click again. Click again. There we go. Oh, hey, nice, a kernel rot. Here we go, the system core. Uh, let me repair myself a bit. Weaken the system core. Now I left click for an ordinary attack. Parts container that might actually be important. Or maybe not. And the containers have despawned. Most of them. Can't catch that last one. So this is a 0.6 site, and the stuff is fairly worthless. I mean, I could sneeze this much disk out of my wallet. Presumably, this is not 
final. They're probably CCP is probably still working on it. Uh, this is probably just test materials for the test server. They'll probably put something useful in here in time for Odyssey, we hope. Or maybe it's just it's high security space and you'll get better stuff in low or null security. Whatever the case may be, that's how the actual hacking mechanic seems to work now. I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and thank you for watching.